Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am going to be featuring the Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie collection. I got the eyeshadow palette, I got the highlighter in Fuego, and then I got two of the lip colors in Savage and Hot Fire. Today I used the eyeshadow palette, I used the highlighter, and I used Savage lip paint. Oh. I have been dying to get my hands on these products. This was the last restock, so I made sure to set an alarm in my phone so that when it went on sale that day, I was online purchasing my products because I did not want to miss out on this collection. Um, loving the lip colors, loving the whole collection. The colors are beautiful. The eyeshadow palette, oh. They chose the perfect colors and it came in great for fall winter. So I love this look that I did. Um, I went in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette just to lay out a foundation and then I went over it with the Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie Collection in the eyeshadow palette. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Let's go. So I will be using the matte colors to lay out my eyes from Huda Beauty and then I will go in with Desi times Katie um, with their palette and let's see what kind of look I am going to come up with. So starting out with my MAC 286 brush, I am going to go in with my favorite crease color from this desert dust palette which is amber and I am going to warm it up I am just gonna start with a little bit because I don't want it to be too warm I'm actually gonna you know what I'm gonna mix amber I'm gonna mix amber and blazing amber and blazing and see what kind of color I'm gonna come out with cuz I don't want anything I don't want it too red I like to lift the, at the high point of my brow, I like to lift the brow just to stretch the skin a little bit to help me blend better. Cause you see I don't have much of a crease. So I pull the skin just to really get a feel to how my bone structure is. And it helps me to place the color in where I really want it to be. Then I'm gonna just blend that out. All right, so after that, I am going to go in with Oud in this palette. Just wanna see it, see it, there you go. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush. Again, lift up the brow. So I wanna keep this in the crease. Then I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush and blend that out. Then I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place just for this color right here, Kenya. And I am going to darken up the crease just a little bit in the inner and outer corner. Yes, that's exactly what I am looking for. And then I am going to blend that out with my MAC 224 brush. I'm gonna lay some soft ochre in the center of the lid. So now I'm gonna go in with my Delium 778 brush and I'm gonna spray a little bit of Liquisat on it. And I am going to press. I'm gonna start with, which color is this? 
Turbo Sans. Wait, is that it? Yeah. Because I heard these go on best wet. And I'm going to rub that onto the brush and I'm going to press it in the inner and outer crease. And then, putting a little bit more, I am going to go in with Harpoon on the center of the lid. So Harpoon is that nice green color right here. I am going to rub that nicely on the brush and press it into the center. Finger, kind of blend it out where I want it. Gonna spray a little bit on this blending brush, and I am gonna go back in, kind of lay some more color down just to shape it up a little bit. Boom. Boom. All right, so let me let me line my waterline. Using the same colors from the crease, going underneath my lower waterline. Then I'm gonna go in with Sue's in my inner tear duct. That color right there. Boom. Oh my god. I love it so much. So I am going in with dark. MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. Sweeping that all over the face. And then I'm going to go in with Cola. Gonna bronze out my hairline. <laughs> yes, darling, yes. Give me all the white. All the white moment. I'm gonna lit put a little bit of sun power by MAC. Just warming it up a little bit in the forehead area. Then, where is blunt? You know what? Let me contour. Let me contour with cola. Boom. I'm not even playing. Did not intend to bring it this far. I'm gonna add a little bit of Suze to the high point of my brow bone. Just a little bit. I just wanna add a little bit of Suze. <gasps> so 
So I'm gonna add, some, you know, my use my famous Inglot blushes. Kind of just lay that out on cheeks. And I am going to go in with Fuego highlighter. I'm just going to stick right there to the high point of my cheek. I don't know, the highlighter isn't like barely coming onto my brush. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, it's like, probably not really working for me. So I am going to finish this look off. I am going to line my lips in Night Moth by MAC. So I guess I need to sit back. going in with savage savage and I am going to lie my lips uh huh huh <laughs> yeah sunny these lips are quite savage Notice I did not dip back inside that container. This is so moist. I mean, one coat and my lips are on fleek. Yes, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm loving it. life all right guys so I am going to use my NYX matte finish spray long-lasting setting spray to finish up this look 